I'm John Swancek with Phil Blackmar. This was a five iron in the hands of Ken Tanigawa at 16. Playing 209 yards today, and I'm sure he's aiming at the hole, you would think. And was he aiming at the hole? Look at this. Jubilation for everyone in the group back on the tee. To get to six under par, Richard Green's been playing some fabulous golf the last several weeks. Absolutely. Probably the hottest player on tour without a win. Looking for that first win, trying to kick in the door. Birdied the eighth to get to 10 under, but Padraig Harrington cried, trying to keep touch here from long range at nine. Very tough putt up and over the ridge, downhill at the end. Just trying to get it close, you would think, but maybe. What a putt. Look at the smile on the face. And mentioned that he's off to a great start. How about this birdie here at nine? What a front nine he put together. Just a beautiful shot in there, close and a short par four. Putter is hot, rolls that one in on top of it. Wow. Truly inspiring play here. It, it truly uh, is a, a heartwarming story. Bittersweet in a lot of ways. So cool to be able to see him have this experience. 30 at 10, and then uh, you're seeing a familiar pattern develop here with Richard Green. You got to be asking yourself, is he thinking 59, par 70 here? That is ninth birdie on the deck. Had just one par in the scorecard through his opening 11 holes today. Boo Weekly at 11, just off the green. Good to see Boo having a good week here. Great ball striker, a lot of fun to be around, and really good shot there. Ken Tanagawa, the man who aced the 16th earlier. Trying to put up a two on the card as well. How about that? Have a one and a two in the same round. Showing some signs with this game here this week. The putter has really been a problem for him this year, but making some putts this week. Maybe found a little secret there with it. Different putter. Good start 64 for Darren. Steven Elker working from just off the green. In contention again this week. Nice pitch right there. Up the hill, beautiful two on the par three, tough par three. Perel, who opened with 63 yesterday. Yeah, tremendous round of golf, hasn't had his best stuff so far this year, so really could use a good week. Has shot 62 at this course in the past and a good play there. Likes to play everything in with the draw, and that's a nice shot in that left front left hole location. Hold and maybe even push a little right to begin with and then go back left at the hole. Well, he has been putting marvelously for several oh. weeks now. Another example of it right there for Harrington. And he hit the perfect putt there for not being able to read it exactly right. I uh, really thought this golf course suited him very well, so I'm sure he's a little disappointed with how he's played today. He might just make a few on the way to the house just getting caught up in these boys' jet wash. There we go. Good call. Up to 16 we go. Steve Allen looking for birdie. Finding it. There's not having too much trouble with the 16th. Today. I get us back to 11. The man who's won here a couple of times back to back. In fact, Scott McCarron for Eagle. Been a tough start to the day for Scott, but that will that will help get the ship going the right direction. Stephen Elker in search of a birdie here at 13. But should swing a little right as it slows. Did he get it there? He did. Nice putt for Alker. And look who's coming. That is news to no one. That's four straight to start the second nine for Alker, who's within one. Not many have the scoring clubs dialed in with the proficiency of Alker. Very controlled swing there. Flighted that down a little bit. See how that trajectory was a little lower? And well done, right below the hole. Not two year old tied for fourth at the senior PGA this year big. Yeah no bogeys on his round so far today. And I really like that action there where he just kind of took something of it off like Alker did and a good result. Go to 12 with uh, the 18 hole leader Perel to join the lead at 11 under. Coming down the hill on a pretty good line. He's got a chance. Yeah, there you go. Scott's getting it going here. It's that kind of hole. That was a lovely golf swing right there, Big. Yes, he makes a lot of them. Look at this. Wow, what a shot. Right all the way to the back where that hole's got beautiful distance control in there. Great look for birdie. For now, we'll get you back to 13. Here's Perel. See how he was set up there with the face a little open. Then he likes to turn it over from there. And a really good shot. Scott's starting to feel it now. Started right on his line. Let's stay up. It's it. 
Wow. What a round of golf this is. How about 10 birdies through 15 holes for Richard Green? West Short Jr., the champion here back in 2019. Let turn. Good looking putt right there. Wes has been a fixture out here seven consecutive years inside the top 30 until the last couple years. Tracer technology presented by Trackman. Could you place a tee shot any better than that? And you can't hit your approach a whole lot better than that. Right under the hole. Beautiful shot. Not a comfortable hole location here. He likes to draw the ball as he says, starts out quite a bit right. See if he brings it back in. It's an aggressive start line. What a shot. Mm. Best Beautiful. we've seen at 14 today. See, that cat was a lot more solid strike there, and boom, right in the center of the hole. Good pot. Nice pickup for Alker. West Short Jr., meanwhile, looking for birdie back here at 14. How about West? Three of the last four to get it to nine under. He likes it here. And here's Perel after the best tee shot we've seen at 14 today. Catches the side. Pretty good looking stroke. Pretty good looking stroke. Oh, yes. Pretty good looking stroke. And the result to match. <laughs> Let's go up to 18 and Matt Gogol to close out the day with an eagle. Matt's always such a good putter, too. He's how he really stroked through that. Rolling in, Matt. Way to go. 32 coming in for 67. Let's go to 16. That's a good look at the split grip of Jason Karen. Coming back up the hill. Nice putt. Two ways to work that split grip. One is you can swing both hands back and forth in unison, or you can pivot it around the top hand. And he does the latter, pivots around that top hand. That's a beautiful putt there. Back to 16, Tiziani. Wide stance there, the way he's set up, very aggressive looking. Good shot, look at this. Oh. Fantastic. Pay off that marvelous tee shot at 16. I think you only do that if you have good tempo and you're full swing. <laughs> right. That's right. Sometimes you may not want to match it. That's right. right. And drove it in the rough, 85 yards. To this front flag. He has a little backstop as well. Back at 16, West Shore Jr. hit one in there close and moves to 10 under. I mentioned Down. earlier just his ninth start, John. Memories of that win here. Well, especially after dropping one back at 17. This is right back up the hill. This is pretty simple. Bangs it in there. Birdie at the last. Coming off the only bogey of the week for Harrington is in at 11 under. With a bogey and a double. <laughs> 11th birdie of the round at the 18th for Richard Green. What a day. That was fun to watch. His best ever 18 hole score. Currently 10 under in a great spot for tomorrow. Good swing here would go. A long ways towards setting that up. It starts on a pretty good line. And it finishes on a good line. Look at this. You'll have that to get to 12 under. Ooh, trying to saw one in there. Softy in there. Good looking shot. Look at these two shots these guys have played. Fabulous. All right, for Eagle here, weekly at the last to get to 13 under, enjoying green. Coming downhill, swinging to the left. Good look at it here for Boo. Is it high enough? No. Five birdies on the front today. Boo went out in 30. And a few more coming in. And it's going to be a 63. Best ever round for Boo Weekly in his second season out here on the Champions Tour. Back at 18, and Alker to close out this Saturday with a birdie. Disappointing 
for him to have this long of a putt. Good one, though. He would have not been happy walking off with a five here at the last. Good round there, 128 for Stephen Alker. The chance to eagle the 18th and get in at 12 under. Also 128. Oh, good looking stroke. Just slides by on the low side. He's got a chance to win tomorrow. He's also got a chance to finish in the top 10 and get another tournament possibly if he's the low top 10 finisher. Liked it. Well, he should. Right over the top of the flag stick, right behind the hole. Good look at it coming down the hill. Shane. I had a feeling that was going to be an entertaining <laughs> dialogue between those two. Shane Birch watches that eagle attempt, just duck under the hole. So he'll birdie the last. Bogey's at 15 and 17, and birdie at the last for. The winner of Big Cedar Lodge back in 2020. Mario is one of those guys, so as we approach September, it's starting to get in the back of players' minds. No doubt. He was at 50th in the Schwab Cup standings to start the week, as we've pointed out. So it's a, an important week for Tiziani and a productive week thus far through 36. Richard Green, two runner-ups and a third-place finish in senior majors this season. Runner-up in a playoff.